I hope you can hear me. No. Yes, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we appreciate uh, what you're doing, uh, despite what you went through today. Um, still, well, we, we are sorry to hear it. Uh, yesterday, you spoke about this BTC uh, error. I know I addressed it with you privately, and we're supposed to have a go at it, you know, before the call. You know, but yesterday was, I was unable to join the call yesterday. I don't know if you can just quickly, you know, go over it so that I can ex I can understand better the BTC trade and, you know, how I'm unable to book my profits. Uh, can you share your screen? I'll go ahead and make you close. Well, before you share your screen, you need to log into your Prime board, log into your Binance. You're using Binance, right? Yeah, I'm using Binance. Okay, so log into your Binance and open the okay. app. Log into your Prime board, open the app. Then you can share your screen and let us interchange and see how we can sort that out for you. And let others who are here equally learn from you. Okay, uh, just a moment. All right, so why is doing that? Someone wanted to say something. You can go ahead. Hello, good evening. Evening, good evening, sir. Yes, please. Um, sorry, I didn't come quite on time. Um, I've been following this uh, prime bot um, trade uh, something, and I really want to come in, but um, I've already just started uh, this uh, royal queue, and I said I don't know if you can please help me with an overview to know what exactly are the difference of the two, so that I will not begin to do two things at the same time. So that if I will, if this one is more profitable, then I can maybe suspend the royal queue and then take up uh, the prime bots. Thank you. The major difference is that it is faster. <laughs> Because of the way the calculations on prime board are done, it is faster to make money or make profit with prime board than it, than it is with royal queue. But these two of them do the same thing, which is trading on your behalf. They, they are both based AI based um, board. They are both um, um, quantitative trading board that trades crypto on Binance and will be for you. Aside that, the other difference is that you get. Um, um, Profit faster, you make profit faster with Prime Board, and then you get us sending you signals of the types of coins that we think they are doing well in the market that you can be trading. And then this Zoom meeting, like this, to answer this Zoom meeting is not just to tell you recruit members, recruit members. I don't emphasize more on that, even when I know it is very important. I want you who has, to some of you who have taken action to make sure that you understand these things better. That is a, one of the privileges the company has given me to make sure that we carry everybody along, educate you so that if you decide to build up your own team, you can equally educate or decide to manage your platform yourself. You can equally know what to press and what not to press. So why we equally encourage you to sign up, we're equally helping you to understand this platform better. So the major difference is that um, it is very easy to make profit with um, Prime Board and so on. But it's not a crime if you, because this uh, platform works with Binance and Wobi, and you cannot use one board on both Wobi and Binance. So if you want to try that, is that um, you know you can get this for activated for you for 50 USDT. It's not as costly as a um, Rare Queue. You can get it activated for you for 50 USDT and try it for the whole year. So you can have one board activated on Binance and then the other one on Wobi. All of the funds you are going to be trading with are still your funds. The percentages of 10, 20 percent, 30 percent you're getting every month are still an addition added to your account. So that is basically what I have to say. I still use the boot platform, but it is faster to make profit with Prime Board. That is just what I, I, I want to say. I don't know if that is clear enough. Okay, thank you very much. I will, which is, yeah, that is exactly what I was trying to explain here how this profit are calculated. Uh, based on because the more you buy the covers, the more your liquidation price come closer, and then the faster you make profit. That was what I was trying to calculate with this uh, form here. Since you say you just uh, okay, thank you, sir. 
All right. Um, so, all right. So, if your screen is ready, can you go ahead and share it? So that we just take it off from there. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been transmitting, but I don't know. Maybe you're not accepting. I don't know how it works. All right. While we wait for the screen sharing, is there any other person or any other person who wants to say? Try to share the screen again. Okay, I'm doing that now, and it's broadcasting already. All right. Minimize minimize this. Yeah, minimize this and open up the prime box. Okay. Where's this ring going? Can you see my prime boat is up? Yeah, yeah, open it, open it up. Yeah. Now you said BTC was having what error? No, I had about $211 hold amount on BTC. So I suddenly just saw that my BTC coin got liquidated, meaning that it sold in profit. But I didn't see that profit show in my income, incomes, uh, that income part, this, this place, you know? It was supposed to be on that uh, 10th of November, but I didn't see that BTC coin. I didn't see can that you, BTC click, profit. Yes, can you click on the 10th, the November 10th? Yeah. So I have OMG. Okay. OMG didn't show profit. Uh -huh. So it was only, I think, Ethereum, Uniswap, then you see this BTC now, no profit. Initial profit, all right. Um, yes. So go minimize this and open up your Binance. 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 Yeah, um, can you scroll down? Hold on. Okay, you are currently trading BTC, right? Yes. Now, the whole the BTC that we have on your Binance here is about 0 0.00156. Can we, let's see the hold amount you have on on the, on the prime board. So go switch to the prime board. Prime board. Go back to the trade. Yes. And uh, click on that BTC trade. I'll go back to the home page and click on the BTC trade. BTC. Now, See. Um, the whole amount you have, the whole volume you have here is 0 0.0012. You understand? Right. Now, uh -huh. zero point, take note of this, 0 0.0012. So minimize this and go back to your Binance. Let me show you what uh, actually transpired there. So if this bot is trading for you, sorry, use the arrow at the top left to go back. If this bot is trading for you, the amount that the bot is supposed to be holding is 0 0.00121. But right here, you are having 151. You understand? And this has to do with the lot size of Binance. What Binance is currently doing is their loss size are always a whole number. And I will explain this better with Matic. For instance, you have Matic here, um, 69.59 Matic. Now, because yeah. Binance lot size is just a whole number without a fraction attached to it, if it is selling your Matic through the board, it will only sell 69 and, you know, leave, though it is not done on every coin, no, this is not done on every coin. And, you know, um, the, the team, members on Prime Board are actually working on that. They want to let us know the coins that are actually being affected on this, and they will let us know the percentage we'll set to profit for us, and then the percentage we'll set for others to be able to take care of all of these issues. That is what the technical team are currently working on. So the Binance, they bought sold BTC for you, but didn't take profit because Binance didn't allow the coin to go through, and that is why you are having, instead of 0 0.00121, one, you're having 0 0.00156. Do you understand? Yeah. And then the next yeah. point is OMG. Can you scroll down? Let's look for OMG if any fraction is remaining. OMG. This is OMG. OMG. 
And currently you're having 0 0.4818 Thank you, Abu so because yes, OMG is some one of those coins that Binance cannot sell fraction of it, it didn't sell the OMG for you. But the board actually said you at the point it was you know at the level of you taking profit, but the buy, the the trade did not execute on Binance. That is why you cannot see the profit reflecting because the board did not charge you for it. They can't reflect that this is what you made. Okay. You understand? Uh -huh. And for my friend who asked the difference between Royal Q and uh, Prime Board, these are some of the technical issues that a lot of you don't know about. If it was on Prime Board, Prime Board would automatically, most especially using uh, the sub buying mode, the sub buying mode, it would automatically close this trade, whether it is a profit for you or not. But you wouldn't notice it. But because he noticed it because he had to take a time to go that, okay, this profit, this actually traded for me, I would have made profit. But you did not make profit. So what I would say right now, whenever your Bitcoin mm -hmm. sells, if it is not on cover, but whenever your Bitcoin sells, the remaining fraction of the Bitcoin that will remain, you will come in here to manually sell it. I would have said sell this OMG right now, but if you sell it now, you'll be selling it at loss because I don't know at what loss, you get. Yes. That. Yeah, so you have to wait. Yeah, for the everything is red. Yeah, when it goes up, you can come in back oh. and sell it. Alternatively, okay, so what you're saying is... Oh, sorry, sorry, alternatively... What? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, what you are saying now is that because when I noticed that the BTC had sold or had been liquidated, I should have come here to sell it manually instead of yes, just going to, to manually buy it again. Sell, exactly, exactly. And to okay. do that, to do that, do you understand how to do the manual selling? Um, like conversion or what? No, 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 not conversion. Click on the BTC. Hold on. Click on the BTC, BTC. on the spot option. Yeah, click on the BTC. Now, when you click BTC. on BTC, you will see BTC USDT. Can you check all of this showing red? You will see where it says BTC USDT. BTC USDT. Oh, is it this one? No. Okay, this one. Have you seen USDT? The last one? Yes, the last one. Yes. So click on it. It will take you to the trade column. So once you are on this column here, all you need to do is to click on the sell button. Okay. I click it. Yes, click on it. Now beneath it, you see where it says market order. Can you market? Sorry, can you click on that? This markets. Yes, click on the arrow. Now by default, if it is on limit, make sure you change it to market. And it's you on market. Understand? It's on market, is it? Yes, that's what I'm saying. In case next time it is on limit, just change it to market. When you change it to market, uh, okay, um click the arrow to close this. Then you want to come here to where you say 100% and click 100%. Okay. And then you and don't then sell, don't click sell. on sell. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go ahead and click on sell and then you will not manually take the profit. So that's what you can do before you now repeat the trade on BTC. Then repeat then. the trade. Yes. Okay, then there's this thing I do. There is this thing I do. If mm -hmm. I see, actually, like the past two or three days, I see that uh, maybe, you know, like BTC was increasing, it was going. I can go replenish that particular coin and add more money to it. Does that exactly. improve my profit potential? Yes, it improves it. And then it equally has a way of reducing your liquidation price. Liquidation, closer. yes, it will bring yes. it closer. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Leo. Uh, question, uh, can we be seeing? Sorry, I didn't get count. All right. You're not seeing the so. screen. I was seeing the screen from my end, so I don't know if we're not seeing it. If one has enough USDT, can he trade both manual trade and robot trade? Um, you can only trade manual trade when the coin, the particular coin you are trading, is not the same coin that the bot is trading. If you are trading the same coin that the board is trading, you will get the board confused. And then you, you know, you just rumble your account and start getting errors from both sides, both Binance and the board. So you can only manually trade when the board or the coin, the token you are trading, is not the same token or coin that the board is trading. But if it is BTC, the board is trading BTC, you want to trade BTC, it won't work. You get everywhere confused. So don't do that. Don't do that. You can only trade a coin that the bot is not trading. You can only manually trade a coin.
that the board is not trading. I hope you understand that, sir. Any other question? Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Go ahead and look at sir. Yes, uh, on the question, the last uh, speaker, I just want to contribute to that. Uh, on uh, Royal Q, it happened to me once. I was doing um, uh, the Royal, the some coin we're trading. When I picked a different coin that is not trading, and did manual trading, and I got some profit, I was surprised that the Royal Q now recorded the profit that for, it did not you. trade. Yes, recorded the profit and took their own uh, profit. The percentage, yes, exactly. Yes, the percentage, yes, the percentage. And which they never hear, the Royal could never traded that particular coin. I did it manually, but I get I got a very good uh, profit. But it took the percentage. But I still tried it here, but it never happened. That is one of the differences. Exactly. Now. So, yeah. yeah. It's okay. So, so, so these are some of the technical, though we may not notice it because we don't pay attention to it, but these are the some of the technical issues that our prime board is actually taking, and that is what makes it uh, a bit fair and better. Thank you for that observation. And uh, Amy, you want to say something? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, I want to ask, if you are trading... Uh, if you are trading on futures, for instance, I, do you have the liberty of closing your trade manually once, maybe for instance, you discover that you are in profit? Yes, you can close your trade manually once you are in, you are in profit. Yeah, now, the closing of trade manually when you are in profit is that it has not hit your take profit level, right? Uh, let's say your yes. profit level is that you're supposed to make, um, the trade is supposed to automatically close and you make $100 in that trade. But right now you're seeing $50. So before the price, the market starts reversing, yes. you can manually close it. Alternatively, you can adjust your stop loss. Alternatively, in order not to lose the, uh, let's say the market will continue to go from, in order not to lose the money you're supposed to make, you can adjust your stop loss closer. And, you know, just... Um, take profit there, um, when it drops to the after level, it closes, or if you continue to go up, the more you continue to adjust your take profit. But if you want to manually close it yet, there is an option to manually close. At the down where you see the trade rating, um, you will see, for instance, if you are using OKS, it will tell you to um, margin close trade all, and the rest, you, you go ahead and close that. Um, let me see if I can share my screen to show you. I don't have a, a feature trading running, so I will not be able to show it to you. But I'll share a video about official trading that I did on OPS and show you um, how you can actually. I think I've showed that in the in the, in the meeting here was. So I will show you how to do that. Um, the video share with you so I go ahead and see how to do that. But yes, you can manually close your trade. I hope that is clear. So how, how right. do you how do you adjust your stop loss? How do you adjust your stop loss? I don't have a trade on fusion that is currently on, so I cannot show that. As I'm saying, I have recorded a video where you can, that I, I think I mentioned all of this in the video. Do you have a, a, a future trading that is currently Sorry. going? Do you have a trade that Sorry. is currently run? Do you have a trade that is currently not run? No, 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 but yesterday I asked you that I was in profit, and before I know it, I probably began it started going against you. Yes. Or uh, um, what, what what exchange were you using? Binance. On Binance, you will see where it says market close for. You will see that option beneath your trade. Where you are seeing yourself in profit. When you look at the down option, you will see where it says close for or close something. Uh, I can't listen because I don't have any trade running. But there's an option to manually close that trade when you are not, and then you can close it. Click 100%, close it, and take profit and exit the market. So there is an option like that on Binance. Okay, so will, will it make sense if I, I discover that, okay, for instance, I'm in profit and it's going in my direction and I decide to add fund to my existing fund? Will it make sense that way? Now, when you are trading features, once you have your trade is running already, 
whether you add for it does not increase the a profit, the amount of profit you can make. The only advantage okay. you have when you add fund, when the price is increasing, you don't add fund. There's no need of you adding fund because adding fund will not increase the, the level of the leverage or it will not increase the profit you are making because the trade is already running. And let's say you are risking $100. It is already calculated, making your calculation based on the $100 that you are risking. So it does not actually say because you have added fund, the money will increase from $100 or your profit will increase from $100, you can only add money to sustain your position when the market is going against you. That is, if you can manage to take the risk for that, because it is risky. I actually, I've done that. I have I risked up to um, $5,000 just to make $1,000 in the market. And somebody was calling me a mad person. I, I was confident that the market will actually uh, you know, reverse back, but it was still going against me. And I, keep, I kept adding from because already it was minus 2,000 plus. I cannot just waste 2,000 plus in the market. So I added fund until it got up to 5,000. And then when it started reversing, I announced to profit at 1,000. And I noticed that I would have let that trade go because it would have made me additional 5,000 if I've not closed it. But that was the stupidest thing I've done. Yeah, and that was the last money I had on my account. If it has, you know, still went down more, I would have lost everything I had on that account. But don't take that kind of risk, um, actually. Make sure you put your stop loss and take profit on futures. If not, you will empty your account in one day. And uh, please clarify on the 2% take profit. The 2% take profit means that initially we're taking profit when the price goes up to 1%. That was what we're doing. We were saying when this market goes to 1%, take profit for us. But right now, on the 2% take profit, it means that if your trade if your first purchase amount is $50, this trade will only take profit for you when it gets to the 2%. And the 2%, the higher take profit ratio right now that PrimeBot is giving us is because of um, why we're having higher percentage take profit is because of all these lot sizes that Binance uh, is actually giving you. It will be lot sizes actually a bit because it is zero point, I think 0 0.1 or thereabout. So you can actually sell some fraction of any token that you have. But on Binance, it is just a whole number. And because it is a whole number, it affects us. But when the profit is a bit higher, it can actually automatically, those some of these things are taken care of. And that is why some of the take profit now are between 2%, 3.5, up to 4% that we can set on most of the coins that we send out to you. So if my first purchase amount for this coin is, um, let's say, $30, and I'm having 2% as take profit ratio, it means that 30, if it takes profit, it is a profit of this $30. That is if it is on the, only the first purchase at the price. But if it covers up this second one, it means that um, 30 by two, $60 are added to my profit. So in this case, when it goes in profit, I'll be making profit of about $90. So if it covers the, the third one, it means that um, 30 by four, which is 120, has been added to the already made profit. So the more the money increases, the more the percentage you get. So in that case, the total amount of money that has been raised in your account will now be calculated when it enters profit and take profit of 2% for you. But when it covers the fifth cover, the fifth cover will now calculate on the base on the average price and then take profit for you. So all of the profit that we calculated will even be more than this 2% that you have set up here. And that is where this example of taking profit I'm making profit of about 4.8% uh, um, for you because it calculates that based on this drop here and then combine all of the amount that you have bought in the first to fourth quarter and sell it whenever it increases here and sell it in profit. So when you calculate all of this amount at the end of the day, you are making 4% profit of this and that makes you, you know, be in profit. But for the take 2%, 3% that we said, it just when the price increases from when we enter the market, just take profit when it increases to this level and buy again. So that is what that how that works. I don't know if that you understand that. Please, how do you adjust your take profit when you are busy the profit for more profit? I don't know. Is it on the prime board or where exactly? You you when to adjust your take profit, all you just need to do is to come in here to the port. And you can just click on edit. As you can see here, I click on edit. I can go ahead and change this profit here to, to two, to three, 
it will say buy one. I can go ahead and adjust it to 3%, and you just go ahead and click on update, and that will update it. So that is how you adjust your take profit. Uh, manually, that is what I'm saying. You can come to the uh, board, edit your profit, and then click on it. And you go ahead and take profit, and that will be it. Um, I still have more hands up. Um, anybody wants to say something, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I want to. Can you hear me? Yes. I, I, I want to. I don't know if uh, some of us are aware that those little fractions, because of the lot side in uh, size, size in uh, Binance, those little, little fractions, they actually call dust. Uh, we, uh, we are aware that we can move them, convert them to BNB, and use them to pay fees. Instead of leaving them, you can sweep all of them, convert them to uh, BNB. Then yeah, uh, be, I, yeah I, wanted, I wanted to mention that to um, I wanted to mention that to when we're sharing the screen of my uh, what was that building yeah building or when we're sharing the screen I wanted to actually um that was what I was saying alternatively you can convert instead of waiting for the price to go up you can convert it to BNB and let's say the nearest future the BNB price increases it is to your own good. You can be holding BNB, and there is a lot of benefit you get from Binance when you are holding BNB. At times, you come to your Binance account and you see coins that you never traded, you never bought, you, never, you don't even know the coin. You see a percentage of that coin actually um, showing up on your Binance account. That is because you are holding, some of you are even staking. When you are staking BNB, you are holding BNB. Those are some of the privileges you get from the platform uh, and so on. So you can convert those little, little fractions to BNB and be holding them there and be getting you know, advantages of either using them to pay for fee or any other coin. Hello, sir. Uh, no, please, no, no, the hold on, hold on. It will give you error. When you convert it to BNB, it will give you error because you can only do this when the board is not trading that particular coin. Because if the board is trading that particular coin, you may end up converting everything. So, for instance, if your OMG is not currently traded on the board, you can go ahead and convert that 0 0.4 something you have there to BNB. And it will be there for you. The more BNB price increases, the more value you gain from that as well. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I, 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 oh, the, the, I mean manually, when you are trading manually, how do you adjust your take profit? Is it proper for you to adjust your take profit when you discover that you are already in, in profit? Then secondly, at what point do we adjust our stop loss manually, when we are trading manually? You adjust stop loss when you are in profit. And the reason for adjusting stop loss when you are in profit is for you to save your account. You cannot put profit stop loss when you are saying if the price goes down by minus 20%, you are going to risk $20. And then the price is plus $20 for you. You adjust the stop profit to, well, say, let's say your entry price was $60,000. And then your stop loss is $59,000. And then the price of Bitcoin gets up to $64,000. What are you still doing with the stop loss, leaving it at 69? You just adjust the stop loss to 61, adjust it to 62, adjust it to 63. Gradually like that, you're adjusting it. Meaning that even if the market reverses and it hits your stop loss, you are still in profit. That is how you adjust. That is the essence of adjusting stop loss and the rest. And then the take profit is, for instance, your take profit is at $65,000. And then you saw a signal that uh, Bitcoin will actually cost $65,000. All you just need to do, once you have adjusted your stop loss, in my own case, I will just cancel the take profit. Let the trade keep running. If I wake up and it keeps shooting up, I will adjust the stop loss again. Just like that and like that and go. Today is not about features trading. So whatever I'm doing, since I'm not sharing my screen, you will not understand that. So let's dedicate a day on that and talk about that because in this case, I'm saying the like uh, I'm playing uh, the drum that is not understood by a lot of persons on this group. So if I'm sharing my screen and think that you better understand. All Thank that. you, sir. Okay, Donato is asking, please, can you be showing this explanation? That is what I'm saying. I can't show this explanation because I don't have features trading that are running. So even if I show this uh, the explanation, you will not still understand. So we are going to dedicate a day to do features trading for those of you who want to be manually trading and you understand it better. So right now I can't share screen because this is not meant for futures trading or so. All right, prime board should consider trading the short side as well. Uh, those considerations are equally on, on ground and it is only favoring those who have enough funds in their accounts. Because even as you can see, my, my, my trade with all of the money, 
I've been bragging all this right that I'm not having ESDT error, but fortunately, the thing is uh, actually affecting me. You see that some of these tokens are holding a whole lot of money. Some are holding 400, 700. Uh, I think there's one that is even holding 1,000, and yet it is not enough. So you see that I don't have enough funds to cover up for all of this, like this 13%. I would have, okay, it's covering up for this. That's why you're not seeing it. But this is level percent. KSM, I would have covered at 9%. And then wait again to cover at twelve percent. I believe it has hit twelve percent before uh, dropping, rising up again. It didn't cover. That's why you're seeing here the chair over here. So you don't need favor those who have enough funds to, to cover up for all of this. That is what the deal is actually doing. They are they cover the first to fifth cover favor only those who have enough funds. That is why it seems as if those of us who have little funds are not making profit from it. But if you trade any other coin that is not doing well, those who are just activating the account now are the ones who are benefiting from. The ongoing uh, uh, deep right now. So if you are just activating your account and just activating trade, you are actually be benefiting from it. Yeah, um, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Adele, can you go ahead and unmute yourself? All right, Mr. Liu. I would uh, like to hold ask. On, hold on, hold on, hold on before your question. Do not choose, it is showing minus 11% because the price you know, is dropping. The price of that token is dropping. It has dropped beyond what I bought. Now, this is what I want to show you, why it is showing minus 1%. This is the current price minus, okay, this one is even showing minus 11, 29% now. This is the current price right now, this one. And this is what I bought it. I bought it when it was $18. So I'm supposed to sell to make profit when it gets to $19. But because the price has dropped to $13, it is showing that from $18 when I bought it, to $19, it is minus 29%. So if I sell it now, I'll be losing around uh, $5 or there about. So I can't sell this. I'll wait for it to get to this liquidation price, which is $19. And when I sell, I'll be making profit based on what I bought it. That is why it is showing minus that. That is market cryptocurrency for you. It must go down. Uh, I believe you can go on with your question, please. All right, my question is this thing. Now that you set your trade and uh, the boat has already taken all your funds in this thing, assuming that I did not uh, fund uh, my wallet, does that mean that uh, the, the, prime, the, the boat will just we, we pass, we pass the trading? Assuming you did not do what? What I'm saying that does that mean that the boat will pause the trading? If you did not do what now, you say assuming you did not. If it, I did not refund my uh, my my wallet, as long as he has taken all in my wallet, he okay. has taken all them because of okay. the dip in the market. Yes, yes. the boat don't pause your trade. The trade will keep on like this. All of these trades you are seeing, they are all running. They are all running. They are all running. So whether you post it or not, it doesn't change anything. The market, the liquidation price must be met before you can make profit, whether you post it or not. So if you're afraid of the minus 20%, minus 10%, whether you post it or not, it does not change anything. The thing is that the market is still at the current price. So it must hit your liquidation price before you make profit. So there is no need of posting the trade. Just let it, even if it is minus 100%, just leave it there. When it goes to the level of taking profit for you, the board will automatically, so the board does not post your trade. But it will hold that position for you until when it enters profit, it will take profit for you and you can sell and you know exit the market. All right, thank you. It's all right. It's all right. All right. I believe we all understood that. Um, if there is no longer any more question, I think we should call it a night. <laughs> Um, does anyone want to say anything again? Are you yes, anything? yes, okay, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. The question I actually initially want to ask one of one of your one, somebody actually asked the question because all the trade that was traded, all my trade was showing zero on the prime board. Everything is showing zero. I will not see profit. I will not see anything before you clear us that error. So I'm very grateful for that, sir. So okay. let me appreciate you for that. Well done. Then the other thing, 
I want to see as is about. Immediately the boss finish buying, finish selling for you. He will still buy at the same the same price. Why is it like that? No, he doesn't buy at the same price. This is what happens. Hmm. This is what happens. Let's see, and that is why right. that is the reason for this setting. This setting here. Hmm. Let me open this trade. Okay, sir. These settings are actually adjustable. So, um, in all of the trade you are sending, you will note that in all of the signals you are sending, you will note that we don't adjust this callback margin for margin call. We don't adjust this. Okay. What it simply means, and that is what that is explained here. That is what you see here. Yeah. What it simply means is that, um, let mm -hmm. me demonstrate that with this. Okay, I think this is not the right um, display to use. Let me see. Just give me a moment. Okay. Uh, this is it, right? Now, this is what happened because we don't adjust this particular uh, point, this callback for margin call. At okay, that's 0 0.3. Call. Yes, we don't adjust it. This is what happened. On okay. both buying and selling, if the board is coming down to minus 3%, yes, the board can only buy when the market goes up a little bit by 0.3%. That means the, oh my God. the board is sensing that, oh, this market is increasing. Let me buy more for you so that when it sells, it will sell all of this for you in profit. You understand? Okay. So this 0.3% that you are seeing yeah. is for both yeah. buy and sell. Uh, the magic cover is for both buying and selling. You know, when it uh, draws by 0.3%, the board will automatically sell for you and take profit. Okay, okay. okay. And then when he wants to buy, when mm. he wants to buy, let's say after selling and the market yes. keeps going up, the board will wait. We we'll buy again. No, it will not buy immediately. It will wait. Yes. When the market drops immediately by 0.3%, it will buy. To buy that again. Is saying, yes, that is why it seems like I say the difference is not much because the percentage is not much. If you put this at 5%, it means that the board can only wait until when it gets to 5% before it sells for you. But because of the take profit, the take profit and a ratio, that's why we want you to be closer. And that is why we set this to, okay. you cannot that set the right. take profit at 2% and then you want to set this to 2%. It doesn't make sense because it will alter the whole, the whole thing for you. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. So, that so when it increases and then draw by 0.3%, it buys. When mm -hmm. it, it, it decreases and increases by 0.2%, just like that, it covers mm -hmm. this 0.3% that controls everything. And to understand mm -hmm. this better is if you click on the question mark here, you'll see Prime okay. Board is telling you that what this means and the recommendation they give here is 0.3 to 0.5. But normally we'll mm -hmm. leave it as default 0.3. 0 .3. So just leave it like that. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Then on that thing, I see, let me just, you have not really replied me from a message I sent your WhatsApp about the, the bonus point you say you will activate for us. Bonus point is, is meant for, is bonus point, the bonus point is meant for those who want to take part in the affiliate and it is only for leaders, those who want to, you know, let's say. I showed interest before. Eh? I showed interest that I want to be part of the. Uh, you showed interest. The interest has to go with um, you meeting all the criteria. Have you registered anybody on your account? Because no, you need to see. Yeah, okay. you need to. Yeah, there are some. Um, um, uh, actually, the requirement is that you need to have people registered on your account. Okay. Yeah, do you understand? You need to have people register on your account. Then we can now fund the account with this free bonus. And from the free bonus, you can sell these bonuses to your people. $50, $50. $50 come to you directly. You're not sharing it with anybody. If it comes to you directly, you can register them, get them activated, and help them to fund the account and start trading. Then when we, say like five, when we say about five account trading on your account, we can give you yes. more points to do the work. It means that you're showing that spirit of leadership in you that you can actually uh, build up your own network and you know carry your team along. So we can give you more points to you know, start yes. selling for free and be making more money. But you need to so show I, if I want to bring that. people in, how do I, what do I do? What do I need to do? If you want to just bring people in, some persons that just actually... share your referral link with them. Let them sign up with your referral link. Okay. Yes, yeah, share your referral link. Let them sign up with your referral link. Then send yeah. me a screenshot of your account with the numbers of persons who have signed up. 
I'll send a point to you. Get them activated. When you have up to five persons trading on your account, you let me know. We'll give you more points to, to, to continue to do the work. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, and for anybody who well, want to pay, take part have... in the affiliate program. Go ahead and let us know. Okay. Thank so, you, sir. Leonard, I have some questions um, with respect to people who start using PrimeBot. Most of the people that are starting to use PrimeBot, they want to start cautiously. And they are starting with accounts from $150 to $200 balance in their Binance account. And some of them would be trading on single mode, but with one, two, three, four, five tokens. And even when new tokens are sent, they want to trade those new tokens. The result is that they get a lot of insufficient fund errors and are not able to resolve those uh, insufficient fund errors because they are not willing or they are unable to add more cash. What advice do we give to such folks who are just starting out with PrimeBot and only have a maximum of $200 in their account? All right, um, for such persons, this should be a guide to them. They should be able to guide them. Um, I think I've said this once. Let's say you are trading, you want to trade nine coins. This is like, you want to trade seven coins. If you can see my chart, you want to trade coin one, two, three, four, five, with different prices. Or uh, let me come in here. Let me come in here. This one oh. yet. Now, if your first purchase oh, amount okay. is, Actually, if your first measure amount is $20, your first cover will cost you $40. Your second cover will cost you $80, and then your third cover will cost you $160. It means if you are going to trade with the second mode and you want to use this cover, for you to be able to trade up to three cover using $20 as your first measure amount, you need about $300. And you can only trade only one coin. This is just for one coin. Okay, if your first purchase amount in this case is $15, your first cover will cost you $30, your second cover will cost you $60, and then your fourth cover will cost you $120. It means that the total of amount you need is $260. In this case, you don't need to go up to the third cover. You don't need to go up to the third cover. Just stop at the second cover. Trade only cover one and two, because this is what your $100 can trade. If you must trade, on on any of this coin you must cover this is what your first second cover can be you can only put it on, on, on the second cover please don't go beyond the second cover don't go beyond the second cover because if you have to go to the top cover like in this example you need about 225 dollars to do this then if the the amount your first position amount is 20 dollars you need about 300 dollars if your first position amount is 30 dollars to go from cover one, two, three, it's not even the five covers I will send out on the signal. To go from cover one to three, depending on what your first position amount is, this is the amount of the total amount of money you need to be able to trade that. So don't do this. Don't don't do this. Just trade one coin for hundred dollar. Trade one coin using first and second cover. For two hundred dollar, if you want to trade two coins, trade two coins using only first and second cover. Uh, so, Leonard, you are talking about. Uh cycle mode i am talking about single mode this account operating on single mode instead of cycle because they can't really cycle because they can't cover the cover so the funds in the account <laughs> can't cover, cover any cover. cover so they are this is cycle mode i mean single mode situation that i'm asking but i now, think even on single modes they can't do more than uh, two three uh, trades in single now, mode now, on the single mode right this is what we want, we want to need to um, actually understand single mode is not as if it is in favor to, to uh, those who have small funds in the account. It is not a favor to do because even if you are trading on single mode and then all of a sudden the market drops, so the board is automatically detecting that because maybe they cover more than you did not check it, it's supposed to be covering for you. It will not cover for you, but it will complain of yes, it's error because it has gone beyond what it's supposed to do to take profit for you. Do you understand? Let me show. I think I have a coin that is on single mode here. That you still get that USDT error because the coin has dropped beyond. Let me go to the single tab. Yes, I have this as single mode. It's not showing here. 
Okay, the civil law don't actually show you SDT error, and the setting I have here is this. But it doesn't mean that, it, okay, I actually have uh, this here, I don't have all of these things. It, does, it will not cover because it is on single mode. It will cover this, are not relevant to this single mode option. But it doesn't mean that when the price drops, you can see it is on single mode. It doesn't mean that when the price keep dropping, it will not affect it. It will affect it, you can get up to minus 20%. You can get up to minus 50% and the rest. The only thing I will advise to this people is when you do that, change the other quantity to just one. If I click on this and I go to the setting, let's assume this trade is on single mode. If it is on single mode, go ahead and change the other quantity to this. But you will still have that error. It has nothing to do with your account on the single mode. But the only way for you when you enter profit, it will sell automatically for you. Now, as I said earlier, um, these people actually told us that there is going to be an update soon that will actually make those who have little account to make profit, that, that will help those who have uh, little funds in their account to make profit. We are still waiting for that update, but for now, just allow your coin because just like what is happening in the market right now, your price, the price of the token will drop, uh, even if you're on single mode and your small account. So what I would just say, on your small account, don't trade every coin you see in the market. That is another effect that, uh, another thing that affects this US terror. You cannot trade 10 coin with just or because you say you want to trade every uh, first um, buy amount as fifteen dollars, and then you have uh, hundred dollars. You want to trade four, five coins at fifteen, fifteen dollars. It doesn't work that way. So just trade one coin with two covers, and if you have hundred dollars, trade two coins with two covers, and so on. Okay, thank you. Hold. All right. Somebody is saying, what does the term hold means? The holding here, what it simply means is that. Uh, this is the quantity of the coin that the board is holding for you. They hold the amount in USDT and then the whole amount in the coin you are trading. So when you bought at 30 USDT, you bought, you enter the market at 30 as the first machine at from month. So the board is holding 30 of your USDT and the Bitcoin worth of 30 USDT is what the board bought here. So this is the board, the amount that is holding and this is the amount that is holding and it only sell this amount when it gets to, Bitcoin gets to this price. So that is what the hold simply stands for. I hope that is clear enough. Thank you so much for being here this evening. Tomorrow is another day. We'll be having another session tomorrow. So I believe the question will not, will not stop answering all of this question. We'll continue again tomorrow. So thank you all for being here and uh, we'll continue again tomorrow. Do have a wonderful night rest and enjoy your weekend.